On the eighth day of Kitchmas, my true love gave to me. Hi, everyone. Hello! This is, what, the eighth day? Yes. Kitchmas. Eighth day of Kitchmas. It's been an exciting ride, hasn't it? I mean, honestly, I've never seen any project through to completion before, so <laughs> the fact that I've made it to eight days so far... You have four degrees. I think you have seen some projects through to completion. Whatever. Just... Anyway, so today we made, as part of our dinner, mm. everyone loves the classic film A Christmas Story, yes. which you will see running for 24 hours straight on TBS, mm -hmm. unless you own it and start watching it before then, like we do. So, as you'll remember, the family eats red cabbage mm -hmm. as part of their meal. Christmas Story Red Cabbage! And so, you know, Christmas Story takes place uh, in the 1940s, post-war era. So, to be very authentic, I used a red cabbage recipe from the Women's Home Companion Cookbook, published in 1944. Because that's the kind of quality I bring to you. Ginger, who is a regular viewer, said she would like us to discuss the recipes on camera so she didn't have to read the blog. I'm sorry, I'm going to start eating because I don't know how long you're going to talk. I'm just going to tell, you know, I know reading is very difficult, Ginger, when you're spending Christmas in Italy. So I'm going to tell you how I did it. So you take uh, bacon fat, three tablespoons of bacon fat, is how the recipe starts. It's all uphill from there. Mm -hmm. You fry up some onion in the bacon fat. I used about one, you know, medium onion. Uh, you add a half cup of vinegar and a half cup of water or grape juice. I didn't have any grape juice, so I used red wine. Two teaspoons of salt, one tablespoon of sugar. Wait, let me think about that. Two More tablespoons sugar. of sugar. Yeah, yeah. Two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of sugar. It'll be printed on the blog in case you're not in Italy for Christmas and you want to have some reading material. Mm. And then you uh, throw your cabbage in there and you just cook it, cover it, cook it down for about a half hour yeah. at, I would say, at medium heat. I did it at low and it didn't soften yeah, enough, so higher. I had to do it more so. Yeah. But um, the smell was fantastic. It smells very really good. was, I mean, really good. Yeah. So, no, we didn't uh, do um, meatloaf, meatloaf, double beetloaf. We didn't. I thought about that, but... I would have work. been tempted to shove my face into the plate and show Mommy how her little piggy yeah. eats. You that know, would have been which funny, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyway, um, we don't have a song for you today from us. Instead, we have a song that we've found a fantastic new a cappella group. And we will bring that to you now. Bye! Bye! God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. From God our bum, Heavenly bum, Father bum, a blessed bum, angel bum, came, bum, and unto um, um, certain bum, shepherds bum, brought tidings bum, of the same, bum, bum, how that in bum, Bethlehem bum, was born the Son bum, of God bum, by name. Bum, oh, tidings bum, of comfort bum, and joy, bum, comfort and joy. Bum, oh, tidings bum, of comfort bum, and joy. Bum, Comfort and joy. Hear not, said the angel, let nothing you affright. This day is born a savior of a pure virgin bride to free all those who trust in him from Satan's power and might. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Now to the Lord sing praises, all you within this place. And with true love and brotherhood, each other. 
Father, now we embrace this holy tide of Christmas. All other dark deface, oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, oh, tidings of comfort and joy, oh, tidings of comfort. And draw.